JavaScript provides some very interesting and powerful ways to create and use functions. So two concepts that we will be learning in this lesson are function expressions and arrow functions. So let's start with function expressions. JavaScript ex functions can also be defined using an expression. A function expression can be stored in a variable. And after a function expression has been stored in a variable, the variable can be used as a function. So here, for example, we have defined this function a b return a into b and we have assigned it to a variable and add. So as you can see here, this function above is an anonymous function that is anonymous means without a name. So this function, we have not given it any name. It is anonymous. Functions stored in variables do not need function names. So we have not given a function name here. They do not need function names. They are always invoked using the variable name. So add was the variable. So we can just like we invoked a function, a normal function. We can now just say add 2 comma 5. So let us look at a few examples and understand function expressions better. So here we have defined a function add1 which is the standard way of defining functions. Let me now do it using function expression. So let me say let add2 is equal to function. It takes two parameters x comma y. And what does it do? Let me just put a console.log say function expression. And it also returns x plus y. So let us run these functions, use these functions. So we know what to do with add one. We have been always been doing it. Add one, let's say one comma two. Similarly, I can say console dot log. If I want to use add two, I will just use it in exactly the same way and run it. Let's see what happens. So I get standard function being printed because in the first case we call this one and three. And in the second case, what happened? Again, function expression got printed and we returned 3. Now, if I had done, not given a parameter, but just printed it as a variable, then what would it? It just prints the code of this function. So, this function definition, as you can see, has been printed. Another thing we can do here is I can just say let add 3 is equal to add 2. Now add 2 is a variable so I can just assign its value to another variable say add 3. Now add 3 is exactly the same function as add 2 and I can also use that as a function. So I can just say console.log add 3 and let's say I pass the parameters 2 comma 3. Now when I run them I get function expression again so this same function is being called with these parameters 2 comma 3 and hence it returns 5. So, just like we assign variables, we can assign functions again using the equality operator or the assignment operator. Another very, very interesting and powerful concept of JavaScript is arrow functions. An arrow function is a compact alternative to a traditional function, typically is used where it results in shorter and simpler code. So the, the value of arrow function is that it creates a shorter and simpler code and it is important to note that it is limited and can't be used in all situations. So wherever we can use it, we should use it. So how does a func arrow function syntax look like? So just like we discussed right now, this is how a function expression looks like. So let var name is a function. It takes a lot of parameters and the code inside the function. The kind of function expression that we studied right now. Now the same thing if I want to convert it into the arrow function syntax. So note here this keyword function has gone away. We are getting the same parameters and instead of it we have replaced it with an arrow sign. So rest remaining the same. And as we look at examples we will start realizing the power that this structure gives us. Let us say we have this function mult1 which we have defined as a function expression and written it. 
now how do we write mult1 as an arrow function so we can just say let mult2 let's call it is equal to we'll just give the parameters then an arrow and we can just say console.log arrow function let's call it 1 and return x into y now the way we were calling it we can just call it console.log mult 1 and let's give it the parameters 2 comma 3 and let's do the same for mult 2 let's run it so we get function expression 6 and arrow function 1 6 so syntax change what did we do this function keyword we did not use here x comma y remain the same we put an arrow and rest has remained the same if we just wanted to return the value let's say if we just wanted to say mult 3 is equal to x comma y and we did not want to print anything we can just we just wanted to return x into y so if we just wanted to do this and there is a single return statement the arrow function gives us another simplification in writing the syntax we can remove this return and we can just say this line so it means it is returning this value x into y and now i can just do again mult 3 and run it and i get 6 so this is one of the very powerful simplification so if i just want to return a single line value i can just write it in a very very simple and you can see a very very elegant way to write it so these were arrow functions with two parameters let's say we have a function double one which takes a single parameter and doubles it and returns it now how can we do that as an arrow function so i could just have said let double two is equal to now again the same thing no function the parameter arrow and i will just say console dot log arrow function one return two into x and i can just call it console dot log double two four now if i run it I get exactly the same thing so this is the arrow function as we did earlier i could have also said double three is equal to x goes to and because if we just don't want to print anything we just want to return it so i could just say two into x and now if i say console dot log double three and say four So this gives me 8. There is another simplification we can do if there is a single parameter double 4 is we do not need to put these brackets for a single parameter we can just say 2 into x. And now when I do a console dot log double 4 4 it gives me that exactly same value so this is this is a special case when there is only one parameter if there are zero parameters i need to put the brackets if there are more than one parameters i need to put the brackets here so this is a simplification only for a single parameter let's say we have a function get num which returns 15 and does not take a parameter so how would we write it in an arrow function so we can say let get num2 is equal to again brackets now there are no parameters so we'll put brackets but no parameters inside it the arrow and then the same thing console.log arrow function and we want to again say return 15 and i can run it the same way console.log 
get num2 and run it. And this will work perfectly fine. And if I don't want to print it, I can just say get num3 is equal to is equal to 15. So if, if there are no parameters, note that we will always put this brackets. And now I can just do a console.log get num3 and run it. And this also gives me 50. Suppose we have this function put data1, which takes in these two parameters input name and input age and creates a JSON and returns it. So, how would we do it using an arrow function? So, I can just say let put data2. It takes two parameters. I will just give it the, the arrow and then the normal code that we write within it. So console.log, let's say arrow function so that we know this is being called and return. And I can just copy this line here. This exact same thing we are returning. And I can now run it exactly the same way here. Let me just copy this. But we are calling put data too. So this also works fine. Now we also know suppose we just give doing a return then what we can see we can say let put data 3 is equal to it takes these two parameters input name and input age and what is it doing it is returning a json with json let me just copy and put that also so that is what it is doing let me make now let me save it and let us just do a console dot log put data three. Let's call it not Jack. Let's call it say Bob and thirty three. And now let me run it. So I get an error at line seventeen. Now why did I get an error? Because when I put this bracket here, is this the starting bracket of a JSON or is this the starting bracket like we have here of the block of code? So that's the confusion. So the way to solve it is we will just put these braces around it to tell it that this should be treated as a JSON. And now when I run it, you can see I get Bob 33. So if we are returning a JSON that we are creating here and it's starting with these braces, this is the way to solve this error. So this is a very common error. You should keep it in mind. So let's look at a few problems. Given an array of numbers, find the first even in the array. Use arrow functions. So we have this array ARR and we want to find the first even in this array. So I'll use find arr dot find so normally how should i write it function well return well percentage to this is how i would do it now if i want to write it in a arrow function so let me just pull this function out so that we can understand it better so this was my function now if i want to write it as arrow what i can say well, and the return, so I don't need to do it. Well, percentage to triple equal to zero. I can write it this way. And because there is a single parameter, I don't need to put this braces. So this is exactly the way I can write it. So let me just put it in. So I will delete this part and just put this logic in and now what i can do is assign it to be a value let x equal to this value and console dot log x let's go ahead and run it and what do i get the first even value is 12.
let me put it as a 54 here and this works fine so we just wrote the arrow function and look at how simple or elegant does the find look at look like so this is a very very powerful use case of arrow functions given an array of numbers using map create an array where one has been added to all the odd numbers use arrow functions so we have this array and we want to add one to all the odd numbers so i can say array dot map function well and what do we say if i use the ternary operator what will it be well percentage 2 is equal to 0 so if it is even then i will just return well otherwise i will return well plus 1 and a return statement here so this is what i would do now let's convert this into a arrow function let me copy it so what did, would it be i can say well goes to and i just copy the this part of it and i don't need braces here because it's a single parameter so let us just copy that and put it into our map so this is how the map would look like and let me put it into an array const arr1 is equal to this and let us just do a console dot log arr1 let's run it we get 2 6 8 12 6 10 so exactly what we were looking at so again we used arrow functions and look at how neat the code looks given an array of numbers use reduce to calculate the sum of all the even numbers in the array use arrow functions so we have this array and we want to calculate the sum using reduce sum of all even numbers so again right let's write it the way we started to write and what do we do if the current value is even so then what should we return in the accumulator we will add the current otherwise we will just return the accumulator and let me put a return here and this is the initial value for our reduce so this is how our function should have looked like now let's copy that out and then we will change it into an arrow so how do we write it we can say acc comma cur goes to and we have a single line return so let me just copy that so this is what we can do so let me put it back there and let's say sum one console dot log sum one let's run it we get 28 let me change this to simple numbers 2 4 6 so it should be 12 now which is exactly what we get so what we have seen in the last three exercises is how do we write an arrow function and if you practice it in this manner over a period of time it will become easier and easier to write these arrow functions because when we write really serious code we don't use typically those functions this is how most people would write it and it gets takes a while to get used to writing it so the simplest way is write the normal function convert it into an arrow function after you have done 10 20 30 of these exercises you'll be able to write arrow functions automatically